CIET NCERT presents audio book of social science for class 8 entitled social and political life 3 This is the lesson 3 why do we need a parliament from page number 30 to page number 41 let's listen to the lesson number 3 Why do we need a parliament? Page number 30. We in India pride ourselves on being a democracy. Here, we will try and understand the relation between the ideas of participation in decision making and the need for all democratic governments to have the consent of their citizens. It is these elements that together make us a democracy. and this is best expressed in the institution of parliament in this chapter we will try to see how the parliament enables citizens of india to participate in decision making and control the government thus making it the most important symbol of indian democracy and a key feature of the constitution page number 31 why should people decide India as we know became independent on 15th August 1947 Preceding this was a long and difficult struggle in which many sections of society participated People from various backgrounds joined the struggle and they were inspired by the ideas of freedom equality and participation in decision making Under colonial rule the people had lived in fear of the British government and did not agree with many of the decisions that they took but they faced grave danger if they tried to criticize these decisions the freedom movement changed this situation the nationalists began to openly criticize the british government and make demands as far back as 1885 the indian national congress demanded that there be elected members in the legislature with a right to discuss the budget and ask questions the government of india act 1909 allowed for some elected representation while these early legislatures under the british government were in response to the growing demands of the nationalists they did not allow for all adults to vote nor could people participate in decision making as you read in chapter 1 the experience of colonial rule as well as the participation of different people in the struggle for freedom left little doubt in the minds of the nationalists that all persons in independent india would be able to participate in making decisions with the coming of independence we were going to be citizens of a free country this did not mean that the government could do what it felt like it meant that the government had to be sensitive to people's needs and demands the dreams and aspirations of the freedom struggle were made concrete in the constitution of independent india that laid down the principle of universal adult franchise that is that all adult citizens of the country have the right to vote the above photo shows a voter reading instructions on how to use an electronic voting machine that is evm evms were used throughout the country for the first time in the 2004 general elections the use of evms in 2004 saved around 150000 trees which would have been cut to produce 8000 tons of paper for printing the ballot papers What do you think the artist is trying to convey through the image of parliament on the previous page? Page number 32. People and their representatives. The take-off point for a democracy is the idea of consent, that is the desire, approval and participation of people. It is the decision of people that creates a democratic government and decides about its functioning. The basic idea in this kind of democracy is that the individual or the citizen is the most important person and that in principle the government as well as other public institutions need to have the trust of these citizens. How does the individual give approval to the government? One way of doing so as you read is through elections. People would elect their representatives to the parliament. Then one group from among these elected representatives forms the government the parliament which is made up of all representatives together controls and guides the government in this sense people through their chosen representatives form the government and also control it 
Give one reason why you think there should be universal adult franchise. Do you think there would be any difference if the class monitor was selected by the teacher or elected by the students? Discuss. This photo shows election staff using an elephant to carry polling material and EVMs to polling stations located in difficult terrain. The above was page number 32. Page number 33. The above idea of representation has been an important theme in your class 6 and 7 social and political life textbooks. You are familiar with how representatives are chosen at different levels of government. Let us recall these ideas by doing the following exercises. 1. Use the term constituency and represent to explain who an MLA is and how the person gets elected. 2. Discuss with your teacher the difference between state legislative assembly that is Vidhan Sabha and the parliament that is Lok Sabha. 3. From the list below, identify the work of a state government and that of a central government. A. The decision of Indian government to maintain peaceful relations with China. B. The decision of the Madhya Pradesh government to discontinue board exams in class 8 for all schools under this board. C. Introduction of a new train connection between Ajmer and Mysore. D. Introduction of a new 1000 rupee note. 4. Fill in the blanks with the following words. Universal adult franchise. MLAs. Representatives. Directly. Democratic governments in our times are usually referred to as representative democracies. In representative democracies, people do not participate, but instead choose their dash through an election process. These dash meet and make decisions for the entire population. These days, a government cannot call itself democratic unless it allows what is known as dash. This means that all adult citizens in the country are allowed to vote. 5. You have read that most elected members, whether in the Panchayat or the Vidhan Sabha or the Parliament, are elected for a fixed period of 5 years. Why do we have a system where the representatives are elected for a fixed period and not for life? 6. You have read that people participate in other ways and not just through elections to express approval or disapproval of the actions of government. Can you describe three such ways through a small skit? Page number 34 The above photographs show 1. The Parliament of India, that is Sansad, is the supreme law-making institution. It has two houses, the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha. 2. Rajya Sabha or Council of States, with a total strength of 245 members, is chaired by the Vice President of India. 3. Lok Sabha or House of the People, with a total membership of 545, is presided over by the Speaker. The Role of the Parliament Created after 1947, the Indian Parliament is an expression of the faith that the people of India have in principles of democracy. These are participation by people in the decision-making process and government by consent. The parliament in our system has immense powers because it is the representative of the people. Elections to the parliament are held in a similar manner as they are for the state legislature. The Lok Sabha is usually elected once every five years. The country is divided into numerous constituencies as shown in the map on page number 41. Each of these constituencies elect one person to the parliament. The candidates who contest elections usually belong to different political parties. Page number 35 With the help of the table below, let us understand this further. Results of the 17th Lok Sabha elections, May 2019 Political party, Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP Number of MPs 303 Indian National Congress 
INC Number of MPs 52 Political party Dravida Munerta Kazagam DMK Number of MPs 24 All India Trinamool Congress AITC Number of MPs 22 Yuva Jan Shramik Ritu Congress Party YSRCP Number of MPs 22 Shiv Sena SS Number of MPs 18 Janata Dal United JDU Number of MPs 16 Biju Janata Dal BJD Number of MPs 12 Bahujan Samaj Party BSP number of MPs 10 Telangana Rashtra Samiti TRS number of MPs 9 Lok Jan Shakti Party LJSP number of MPs 5 Samajwadi Party SP number of MPs 5 Independence number of MPs 4 Nationalist Congress Party NCP number of MPs 4 Communist Party of India Marxist CPI M number of MPs 3 Indian Union Muslim League IUML number of MPs 3 Jammu and Kashmir National Conference JNKNC number of MPs 3 Telugu Desam Party TDP Number of MPs 3 All India Majlis-e-Ittehadul Muslimin AIMIM Number of MPs 2 Apna Dal Number of MPs 2 Communist Party of India CPI Number of MPs 2 Shiromani Akali Dal SAD Number of MPs 2 Aam Aadmi Party AAP AAP number of MPs 1 AJSU party AJSU number of MPs 1 AIA DMK number of MPs 1 All India United Democratic Front AIUDF number of MPs 1 Janata Dal Secular JDS number of MPs 1 Jharkhand Mukti Morcha JMM number of MPs 1 Kerala Congress M KCM number of MPs 1 Mizo National Front MNF number of MPs 1 Naga Peoples Front NPF number of MPs 1 National Peoples Party NPP number of MPs 1 Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party PDPP number of MPs 1 Rashtriya Loktantrik Party RLP number of MPs 1 Revolutionary Socialist Party RSP number of MPs 1 Sikkim Krantikari Morcha SKM number of MPs 1 VCK number of MPs 1 grand total 543 use the table alongside to answer the questions below who will form the government why who will be present for discussions in the lok sabha is the process similar to what you have read about in class 7 the photograph on page 28 shows results from the third lok sabha elections held in 1962 use the photograph to answer the following questions a Which state has the highest number of MPs in the Lok Sabha? Why do you think this is so? B. Which state has the least number of MPs in the Lok Sabha? C. Which political party has won the most seats in all states? D. Which party do you think will form the government? Give reasons why. Page number 36. Once elected These candidates become members of parliament or MPs. These MPs together make up the parliament. Once elections to the parliament have taken place, the parliament needs to perform the following functions. 
A. To select the national government. Parliament of India consists of the President, the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha. After the Lok Sabha elections, a list is prepared showing how many MPs belong to each political party. For a political party to form the government, they must have a majority of elected MPs. Since there are 543 elected, that is plus 2 Anglo-Indian nominated members in Lok Sabha, to have a majority, a party should have at least half the number, that is 272 members or more. The opposition in parliament is formed by all the political parties that oppose the majority party or coalition formed. The largest amongst these parties is called the opposition party. One of the most important functions of the Lok Sabha is to select the executive. The executive, as you read in Chapter 1, is a group of persons who work together to implement the laws made by the parliament. This executive is often what we have in mind when we use the term government. The Prime Minister of India is the leader of the ruling party in the Lok Sabha. From the MPs who belong to her party, the Prime Minister selects ministers to work with her to implement decisions. These ministers then take charge of different areas of government functioning like health, education, finance, etc. Oftentimes in the recent past, it has been difficult for a single political party to get the majority that is required to form the government. They then join together with different political parties who are interested in similar concerns to form what is known as a coalition government. Results of the 15th Lok Sabha elections, May 2009 Political party Number of MPs National parties Bahujan Samaj Party or BSP Number of MPs, 21 Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP Number of MPs, 116 Communist Party of India, CPI Number of MPs, 4 Communist Party of India, Marxist CPM Number of MPs, 16 Indian National Congress, INC Number of MPs, 206 National Congress Party, NCP Number of MPs, 9 Rashtriya Janata Dal or RJD Number of MPs, 4 State parties, that is, regional parties All India Anna DMK AIA DMK Number of MPs, 9 all India Forward Bloc, number of MPs, 2. All India Trinamool Congress, number of MPs, 19. Biju Janata Dal, BJD, number of MPs, 14. DMK, number of MPs, 18. Jammu and Kashmir National Conference, number of MPs, 3. Janata Dal Secular, number of MPs, 3. Janata Dal United, Number of MPs, 20. Jharkhand Mukti Morcha. Number of MPs, 2. Muslim League Kerala State Committee. Number of MPs, 2. Revolutionary Socialist Party. Number of MPs, 2. Samajwadi Party or SP. Number of MPs, 23. Shiromani Akali Dal. Number of MPs, 4. Shiv Sena. Number of MPs, 11. Telangana Rashtra Samiti or TRS Number of MPs 2 Telugu Desam or TDP Number of MPs 6 Other regional parties Number of MPs 6 Registered unrecognized parties Number of MPs 12 Independence Number of MPs 9 Grand total 543 the above table gives you the results of the 15th Lok Sabha elections held in 2009. In these elections, the INC got a large number of seats but still not enough to emerge as the majority party in the Lok Sabha. It does had to form a coalition, the United Progressive Alliance, that is UPA, with other political parties who were its allies. Page number 37 These two buildings of the Central Secretariat the South Block and North Block were built during the 1930s. The photo on the left is of the South Block which houses the Prime Minister's Office, PMO, the Ministry of Defence and the Ministry of External Affairs. The North Block is the photo on the right 
and this has the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Home Affairs. The other ministries of the Union Government are located in various buildings in New Delhi. The Rajya Sabha functions primarily as the representative of the states of India in the Parliament. The Rajya Sabha can also initiate legislation and a bill is required to pass through the Rajya Sabha in order to become a law. It therefore has an important role of reviewing and altering, if alterations are needed, the laws initiated by the Lok Sabha. The members of the Rajya Sabha are elected by the elected members of the legislative assemblies of various states. There are 233 elected members plus 12 members nominated by the President. B. To control, guide and inform the government. The Parliament, while in session, begins with a question hour. The question hour is an important mechanism through which MPs can elicit information about the working of the government. This is a very important way through which the Parliament controls the executive. By asking questions, the government is altered to its shortcomings and also comes to know the opinion of the people through their representatives in the Parliament, that is, the MPs. Asking questions of the government is a crucial task for every MP. The opposition parties play a critical role in the healthy functioning of a democracy. They highlight drawbacks in various policies and programs of the government and mobilize popular support for their own policies. Page number 38 The following is an example of a question asked in Parliament. Lok Sabha, unstart question number 48, answered on 15th of December 2017. Converge of Schemes for Children Manoj Rajoria Will the Minister of Women and Child Development be pleased to state? A. Whether the government proposes to converge various schemes and policies for children in the country? B. If so, the details thereof and C. If not, the reasons therefore. Answer Minister of State in the Ministry of Women and Child Development Dr. Virendra Kumar a to C. The Ministry has developed the National Plan of Action for Children 2016, which largely draws upon the existing programs and schemes of various ministers or departments. It provides a framework for conversions and coordination between ministries and departments and state and union territories, governments, and encourages collective action from all stakeholders to address multidimensional vulnerabilities experienced by children. The National Plan of Action for Children 2016 categorizes children's rights under four key priority areas. 1. Survival, Health and Nutrition. 2. Education and Development. 3. Protection. And 4. Participation. It identifies key programs, schemes and policies as well as stakeholders for the implementation of different strategies. The government gets valuable feedback and is kept on its toes by the questions asked by the MPs. In addition, in all matters dealing with finances, the Parliament's approval is crucial for the government. This is one of the several ways in which the Parliament controls, guides and informs the government. The MPs, as representatives of the people, have a central role in controlling, guiding and informing Parliament and this is a key aspect of the functioning of Indian democracy. In the above question, what information is being sought from the Minister of Women and Child Development? If you were a member of Parliament or MP, list two questions that you would like to ask. Page number 39 C. Lawmaking Lawmaking is a significant function of Parliament. We shall read about this in the next chapter. Who are the people in Parliament? Parliament now has more and more people from different backgrounds. For example, there are more rural members as also members from many regional parties. Groups and people that were till now unrepresented are beginning to get elected to parliament. There has also been an increase in political participation from the Dalits and backward classes. Let us look at the following table that show the percentage of the population who voted in Lok Sabha elections in different years. Lok Sabha First Election Years 1951-52 Voter Turnout Percentage 61.16 Lok Sabha 4 Election Years 1967 Voter Turnout Percentage 61.33
लोकसभा फिफ्थ इलेक्शन इयर्स 1971 वोटर टर्नआउट परसेंटेज 55.29 लोकसभा सिक्स्थ इलेक्शन इयर्स 1977 वोटर टर्नआउट परसेंटेज 60.49 लोकसभा एट इलेक्शन इयर्स 1984 टू 85 वोटर टर्नआउट परसेंटेज 64.01 लोकसभा टेंथ इलेक्शन इयर्स 1991 टू 92 वोटर टर्नआउट परसेंटेज 55.88 लोकसभा फोर्टीन्थ इलेक्शन इयर्स 2004 वोटर टर्नआउट परसेंटेज 57.98 लोकसभा फिफ्टीन्थ election years 2009 voter turnout percentage 58.19 lok sabha 16th election years 2014 voter turnout percentage 66.40 lok sabha 17th election years 2019 voter turnout percentage 67.11 Looking at this table would you say that people's participation during the past 65 years has decreased or increased been stable after initial increase It has been observed that representative democracy cannot produce a perfect reflection of society There is a realization that when interests and experiences separate us it is important to ensure that communities that have been historically marginalized are given adequate representation with this in mind some seats are reserved in parliament for scs and sts this has been done so that the mps elected from these constituencies will be familiar with and can represent dalit and adivasi interests in parliament the above was page number 39 page number 40 Similarly it has more recently been suggested that there should be reservation of seats for women this issue is still being debated 60 years ago only 4% of MPs were women and today it is just above 11% this is a small share when you consider the fact that half the population are women it is issues of this kind that force the country to ask certain difficult and often unresolved questions about whether our democratic system is representative enough the fact that we can ask these questions and are working towards answers is a reflection of the strength and the faith that people in india have in a democratic form of government the above photo shows a few women members of parliament why do you think there are so few women in parliament discuss glossary approval to give one's consent to and be favorable towards something in the context of this chapter it refers both to the formal consent through elected representatives that parliament has as well as the fact that it needs to continue to enjoy the people's trust coalition a temporary alliance of groups or parties in this chapter It refers to the alliance formed by political parties after elections when no party has been able to get adequate seats to form a clear majority. Unresolved. Situations in which there are no easy solutions to problems. The above was page number 40. Page number 41. Exercises. 1. Why do you think our national movement supported the idea that all adults have a right to vote? 2. In this 2004 map of parliamentary constituencies alongside roughly identify the constituencies in your state. What is the name of the MP from your constituency? How many MPs does your state have? Why are certain constituencies colored green while others are colored blue? Total seats 543 general 412 sc 84 st 47 3 you have read in chapter 1 that the parliamentary form of government that exists in india has three tiers 
This includes the parliament, that is central government, and the various state legislatures, that is state governments. Fill in the following table with information on the various representatives from your area. Which political party or parties is or are currently in power? State government? Central government? Who? Name them. Is the current representative from your area? State government? Central government? Which political parties currently form the opposition? State government? Central government? When were elections last held? State government? Central government? When will the next elections be held? State government? Central government? How many women representatives are there from your state? State government? Central government? The chapter 3 of total 10 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator? Vasundhara Pose. You were just listening to this audio book. Technical Control, Bati Langlingdo. Technical Assistance, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in Production, Kusum Lata. Direction and Production, Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audio book is brought to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.